G'day guys, welcome back to the Southampton Magic Most Series. This is Season 2, Episode 5. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know you guys enjoyed the last video I put up on the channel, the Ultimate Team one. Um, I'll be trying to bring out as many of those as I can get. I got 8 likes on that video, so that's very nice. Um, yeah, so you guys must have liked it. I'll bring out as many of those as I can. But enough chit-chat about that. Let's hop in to the Southampton Magic Most Series. As I said, Episode 5. And start off... We have a FA Cup tie, sorry, against West Ham. Um, they are playing a pretty strong squad with Jarvis and Carroll up front. So that's a lot of pace um, on the Jarvis side, but and a lot of strike power on the Andy Carroll side. Start off, McCarty puts in a ball to Diara. He can't win it. Nolan picks up on the scraps, and Diara, little bit of scrappy goal there off the post, but won't won't take the way from West West Ham United. They did deserve an early goal. They were pushing my defence. Now Belhanda in the ball wins the middle, wins the ball in the middle of the pitch. Um, Balotelli with a little dummy got past Tompkins and just puts that past the keeper. Every single he will every single time, racking up 17 goals so far in this season. Going for top goal scorer, I think. Uh, well, I'll try to go for top goal scorer with him. And now Jarvis on the ball gets taken out by Huifeld. And remember early in Season 1, he was always getting yellow carded. So he gets yellow carded again. Now, just the pl on professional, they're always doing this. Just passing it across. Andy Carroll with that strike power I was talking about. Um, I just really can't stop that. Um, because Zinga not very experienced. So he's not going to be able to save that every single time. So well played by West Ham. Giving them a 2-1 scoreline on this game. A little bit of a kerfuffle. Nathaniel Klein drops off, which gives uh, Matthew Jarvis a one-on-one -on -one situation, the keeper, and he just keeps his cool and puts it underneath. Now Lee here, nice little bit of footwork, nice little, little bit of dribbling, just dribbling in and out of defenders, finds Belhanda, Belhanda near post, boom, brings the game back to 3-1 level. 3-2, uh, three, three sorry, so it's not level so far. Straight off the kickoff, they put a miracle ball through to Andy Carroll. We shut him down very well and in time. Huivel plays through to Derrida. Derrida's got the pace. Derrida's got the space as well. Derrida can't do it himself. Finds Belhanda as well. He's been closed down very quickly. Takes it out, but this is not over just yet. Nathaniel Klein picks it up. Throws it into Belhanda. Belhanda finds Balotelli. Balotelli sort of stops on the ball, cuts back, and takes a shot. Bring the game back to 3 all in the 83rd minute. So lucky there um, that we do end up picking up the one point. And the game's still not over. They put a ball through Nathaniel Klein, but we can't pick up on the counter-attack. And that's how the game ends. We pick up the one point, um, which is nice at this stage of the season. 3 all is the end score of the game. Next one, we take a trip to the Emirates. Uh, to play Arsenal in the Barclays Premier League, Giroud and Ashavin is up front, so that's the deadly um, strike force, along with Walcott on the... Oh, they're playing a 4-3-3. So those front three up the front, I guess, um, will be really hard, especially Walcott in his pace. But to start off, Derrida again on the right flank, finds Lee. Lee finds Belhanda, who's making a brilliant run. Belhanda takes a shot, and that is a very nice goal. To give us the early lead, in the early stages of the game. That's really what the Southampton team need. That needed. That's what we really needed in the team. And we were just knackered by the end of this game. Well, um, coming up to the 70th minute. So I make a few changes. I think I make three changes. Bringing on um, L Ricky Lambert. Um, who hasn't had that much game time at the club. So I'm hoping to change that. They do get a free kick in the 89th minute. Um, they cross it in. But. And yeah. Podolski. Just a bit of that. EA bullcrap. Um, deflection off the keeper. Very unlucky there. 90th minute goal. It's just really not fair. So we do share the points once again in a one all scoreline of that game at the Emirates. So I guess it's not bad because playing at the Emirates could be can be hard, especially against Arsenal. I guess you're really not going to play any other teams at the Emirates, really, unless... Yeah, I don't know what I was saying there. But, yeah, I was happy to get the one point off there considering the club's sort of... Um, capabilities um, and we do have the replay of the FA Cup against West Ham seeing as though we drew I'm playing the same squad but our youth academy player Jones up front 91 potential so I'll be playing as him, him as much as I can and they get off to a flying start O'Neill here puts a ball through to Andy Carroll Andy Carroll doesn't have the pace but caught up by Klein Klein puts a ball straight back to Botarenga or something Mark Noble picks up on the rebound Mark Noble's got too much space Gets some space in this inside Diara and just some more crap. Gives them a penalty. Um, 
it probably we were we did hold him off the ball, but Mark Noble steps up to take the penalty. Um, will he be able to save it? Davis, I bring him up into the squad this time, and he puts it just wide. I jumped the right way and Kai had the goal covered, so yeah, he probably wasn't going to score there. Jack Cork, nice pressure there, wins the ball for us, finds Balotelli. Balotelli takes a touch and puts it in the near post. 19 goals to his name so far in all competitions. So he's playing really well lately. A very good signing. Now Forte finds Balotelli. Balotelli to Jones. Balotelli back to Balotelli off the rebound. And a nice little finesse shot underneath the keeper. I'm not sure who keeps for West Bromwich. Nope. West Bromwich, Albany, West Ham. So we are 2 0 up in this game. And O'Neill wants to change this as he storms up the right flank, finds a header Carroll in the box, but Andy Carroll can't get that trademark header into the back of the net. And that's how the game ends 2 0 on the scoreline. So we're progressing into the final of the FA Cup. I think it's the final anyway, but that doesn't really matter. And we do pick up. An injury. Stephen Davis, our centre midfielder, picks up an injury. He's out for four weeks. They were just knackered by the end of that game. I'm really proud of the team after that win. Next game is against Fulham. They do have Sidwell on the bench, I believe that is. Yeah, Sidwell on the bench. So they're down in the centre centre midfield position. And storming off the light left flank, sorry, is Luke Shaw, who's very good at the back. Him and Nathaniel Klein complement each other very well on the two flanks. Um, we do pick up a little stingy goal here. Mark Schwarzer smacking it into Balotelli's head. Balotelli just chipping the keeper. Nice little goal there. A little bit stingy. But EA has crapped on us so much in this series, so I just thought I'd get Give them a bit of a taste of their own medicine. And we do clear it straight back to Reetha, who plays through Odin Wingy. Odin Wingy back to Reetha. Reetha just got too much space, wasn't closing him down. And Odin Wingy with a first touch there, giving them a goal. In the 77th minute, sharing the points again. So we got three draws this episode, I believe. Um, yeah, and we do have an FA Cup semi final. This is the semi final against Nottingham Forest. Don't know much of the team. They are from the championship, I believe. But we're playing pretty much a similar squad to the FA Cup tie earlier against West Ham United. And to start off heaps quickly, our scout Jones has won the ball in the air. Plays through Belhanda. Belhanda with a shot. And it stayed low all the time. It was always going in the 33rd minute, giving us a 1-0 scoreline on the game. And at the moment, we are in the final for the FA Cup, but Nottingham Forest also want that FA Cup spot. And Langsbury, I think, I can't really see the name here, finds the head of Stephen Cox, I think, or maybe Stuart Cox, I'm not sure. But in the 19th minute, some more of that FIFA crap um, gives them a one all score line on the game. So we'll, ha we'll have to re replay that match once again. And we do inquire from Guan Matar. Oh, I've said it wrong again, haven't I? It's Juan Mata, apparently, to Guitar Circle Billy and Carlos Eduardo in the next transfer window. They want a lot for both the players. So I don't know whether they'll be paying that much for them. And we do have a Capital One Cup game against Stoke City. Um, and guess who picks up the injury? It's Jack Cork from the last episode. Made that cute little run through the little... Um, through the defense of the other team. He picks up an injury. He's out for eight weeks. So we replace him with Morgan Schneiderlin, who's been playing really well in the last uh, few games for Southampton in the real sort of world, if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, he's out for eight weeks. So really disappointing. But we have a few changes on our hands. Schneiderlin and Derrida go on for Gulli de Prado and Jack Cork. So yeah, that's the game so far. Um, he picked up the injury very early in the game. And talking about early in the game, in the 34th minute, we pick up a penalty here. A bit of EA's own medicine dished back to them. Balotelli steps up. He's not going to miss this any day of the week. He's always going to put it to the left, to the left top right corner, giving him 20 goals for this season so far in the Premier League. Now Balotelli again, nice bit of footwork, gets some space and off the crossbar. That shot went was denied by EA once again. Roulette there by Balotelli. He's all over the St Stoke Stoke City. Yeah, Stoke City. I almost said Southampton defence. Stoke City defence. Forte, our other sort of... I don't know. He's not a scout, is he? No, he was on loan. But Derrida tries to pick up on the thing. He can't. And we do get a penalty once again. Um, Wilson conceding that penalty there. And Balotelli steps up to take it once again. Puts a ton of power into it and straight above the keeper if he stayed still. Bekovic not playing the best of his game so far. In the 56th minute, we pick up the goal, giving us a 2-0 scoreline of the game. We get 
get pushed around a bit, and Charlie Adam picks up the ball. Too much space, space puts a ball through to Whitehead, and Whitehead finds the head of Etherington, and a very nice save by Gazinga there. Opens up his body, and they do step up. Their goal to keep it steps up, take this. Get in the corner box. We find the opportunity. Nathaniel Klein finds Kenwood Jones. No, not Kenwood Jones. What am I thinking? The scout. Forte is on the run. Forte with the shot. And he hits the crossbar. Come on, EA. In the 87th minute, but that doesn't matter. We win the Capital One Cup. 2-0 against Stoke City. So our second bit of silverware, I think, for this series. So very nice there. Capital One Cup is in our arms for 2013. Very well played by the boys. And unlucky that our man Forde couldn't pick up on their mistake. Bringing up Bekovic for that corner to try get them a consolation goal, really, which it turned out to be. Um, he'll be known as the Miracle Man or the Crossbear Challenge Man. Um, think If you can think of a sort of a good name for him, leave it down in the comments and we'll call him because he'll be at the club for a long time. Only 22 years in age. As it says here, we're the champions of the Capital One Cup. And again, our team is knackered. And like I said, instead of eight weeks, he's only out for four weeks, which, which is very lucky. So if you guys enjoyed Season five, season 2, sorry, Episode 5 of the Southampton Manager Mode Series, um, tune in to my channel within the next few days for Season 6 and maybe an Ultimate Team episode. So if you guys enjoyed, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'm going to go now.